What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create this effect in HitFilm 3 Express. So first thing we want to do is open up HitFilm and create a new project. Don't worry about any of this, just go ahead and start editing. Okay, so we come up here, import media, and import our clip, and then just drag it down here onto the timeline. Go ahead and hit yes. And then we want to trim this to where we like it. Now we want to make this a composite shot. So right click, go up to make composite shot. We'll just go ahead and call it comp shot one. And hit OK. Alright, so you see that it's upside down. That's because I recorded it on my phone in the front facing camera, so it's going to make it upside down. It's super easy to fix. All we have to do is come down here to transform, go to the rotation, and change it to 180. And that'll fix it. Okay, so now we want to set up our tracking points that we're going to attach the lightning to later. So go down here to tracks, We'll go ahead and rename, well, we'll rename them later. Okay, so we're going to track our pinky first. So drag this over here and resize it so it's just on our pinky and doesn't get any of the black background. And go ahead and come over here and track forward. Okay. So now that we have one finger tracked, we'll go ahead and rename this pinky track. And we're going to do this for every finger, so I'll just go ahead and skip through that and I'll see you guys in just a minute. Now that we're done tracking, we need to add in some point layers to attach our tracking data to. So come down here to new layer and add a new point. We're just going to go ahead and duplicate it a couple times, so hit Command D to duplicate it. One, two, three, four, five, okay. And then we'll hit Enter and rename them. Pinky. So we come down here and click on our track, go up here to layer, and choose the ones that match up. Oh, and don't forget to hit apply like I did. And if we click, we can see that all of our points are nicely tracked onto each of our fingers. So now that we've got all the boring stuff out of the way, we can start adding in the effects. So come here to a new layer and add in a new plane. Make sure it's set to black and we'll just call it lightning. Hit OK. And now we come up here search for lightning and put it on the plane so now you can see that we've just got our lightning against a black background so we want to get rid of the black background so what we want to do is right click on the plane change the blend mode to add and there we go so now we need to duplicate the lightning a couple times two three four five okay We'll go ahead and turn those off for right now. Come up to this one, go to the start and end. Since this one is our pinky, we need to use the pinky layer. And then just zero out the position. And there we go. 
We can make the end wherever we want to. Uh, we'll just go ahead and put it here in the center of our palm. Actually, let's create a new point layer in the center of our palm where we can have all of the lightning come to. So we just come back down here to this, add a new track, and we'll just go about right there and hit track forward. We also need to add a new point layer. We'll call this one target palm. Okay, go back to the viewer. We'll rename this one as well. Come up here, change that to target palm, hit apply. And there we go. So now we want to go back to the lightning. Go to the end and choose target palm. We'll zero out the position here. And there we go. So now we can see that our lightning is tracked nicely to our finger. So now we just repeat the process for each finger again, and I'll see you guys in a minute. So there you have it. All of our points have been tracked. All of our lightning is on each finger. Now all that's left to do is just customize the look of the lightning. You can make it look however you want. Use different seeds. The twitch scale is how wavy it is. We'll go ahead and turn that down a little bit. We can make the lightning look a little more transparent by changing the feather, turning that up a little bit. And you can really just customize these however you want to. But if we want to affect all of them at one time, we'll add in a little bit of motion blur. You need to put it on the bottom so that it affects all of them on the top. If you put it up here, then it won't affect all of them. So make sure it's below all of the lightning. We'll also add a little bit of glow. Make sure that's also below. And just turn the intensity up a little bit. Or down, however we like. And there we go. If it doesn't play back smoothly, like it isn't right now, then we can come back over here to our composite shot and click this button right here. And that'll just generate a preview that'll allow it to play back a little smoother before we export it. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit stop there. And there's our effect. And now all that's left to do is just add in our sound effects and export. So when you want to export, come up here, go to H264, don't worry about changing any of this, and then hit export. We'll save this as tutorial, and save. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that it helped. Hope you learned something. Uh, let me know if you want me to do more in the future. This is kind of my first one, so it may have been a little rough. Um, but let me know if you want me to do more in the future, and I'll try and do more. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.